Right, let's head into the cafe. The actual the lounge part of it. There we go. Oh look, there's Stan. My boss Stan. A hard man with a soft <laughs> Nah. He's just a callous bastard. I heard that. Uh I knew that. <laughs> Damn it, why do you have to speak out loud? <laughs> well, we should talk to him. Get paid. What you doing here? I... You ain't working this afternoon, are you? I don't want my employees work 24 hours a day. Go, get sleep. But I'm just... Damn, woman, do I have to babysit you? It's nice to see you too, Stanley. No, I'm not working today. I just came by to... Oh, don't ever say those two words when I'm around. I don't think my ulcer can take it. You? And nice? <laughs> That's funny. No. Working and not. Don't use those two words in the same sentence. Damn, I get creeps even when I say them. Well, we gotta get paid. That's why we came by here. I'd like to get paid. Damn, woman, don't you know I got a migraine already? <laughs> paid? God damn it. Why That's the worst part of the word. He gets so obscene. He gets headaches from same pain. Why don't you leave old Stan alone, huh? They make me feel a whole hell of a lot better. Choo, choo, be good, little girl. Hmm? Uh, um, no, I would like to be paid, please. I'd still like to get paid, though. Mighty man, our woman. <laughs> you really know how to rub it in. God damn it. Yeah, all right. Got your timesheet? Yep, yes. started earlier. Mm. Yes? Yes? Let's see it. God damn, you think I'm gonna take your word for a woman? Fine. Picky. Here's my timesheet. Now pay me! Here you are, my timesheet. Don't say that word too loud, <laughs> sweetheart. You're killing me. Every word kills you. Every other word I say kills you. <laughs> What is this? Huh? No, 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 no. Did I sign this? What I thinking? Yeah, yes I did. So? <laughs> At least it doesn't look like it's been forged. Uh, thanks. <laughs> thanks? Where's my money? Oh, you ain't getting it now. Next week, honey. What? I write down this amount in my ledger. Don't you worry your head from it. But I, I need, need the, the money, money now, now. Stanley. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we all need money now. That ain't gonna happen. Next week, I tell you. Next you promise? week? You promise? Sure, sure, I promise. Next week. And if that falls through the week after, but you'll get it sooner or later. Hell, hell no! Forget that. I quit. You're quitting? You can't quit. You work for me. <laughs> Nobody quits this job, honey. I can um. quit. And I'm quitting. I quit. <laughs> she just did. Damn, woman. You know how hard it is to find people to take a crappy job like this one? I need you. Then pay her. Just as much as you need the money? All right, Jesus, I give you your damn money. What was it, 50 bucks? $375, Stanley, cash. Oh, sure, cash. 300 Are you sure? I pay you guys way too much. All right, give me your CC. All right. Oh, okay, I thought I was going to the inventory. Nope, just takes it. <laughs> There's the damn card. <laughs> Thank you, Stanley. Fine, sure, whatever. <laughs> hey, just, I mean it. You free tonight? Wanna pull a shift? Sandra, she out sick and I need mm. a replacement pronto. How about it? Well... 
Well, we don't really have anything to do, so yeah, we might as well. Yeah, I need the money. Great, hon. I'll see you here later. Don't forget. All right. New diary entry, too. Let's see. Just a tiny little reminder here, April Ryan. You're working tonight. Don't forget. Big remember sign. Stan will kick your butt if you don't show up on time. So there. Apparently Sandra, that swell little girl I love so very, very much. <coughs> she out sick again. Like, cut back on those raptures already. Oh no, I don't mind getting your paycheck. Her paycheck. Yeah. Roma Gallery presents like Growing that. Pains. An exhibition by and for kids and teenagers. Hmm. Could this be what Cortez was talking about? Where kids visualize their dreams? Maybe. I think this may be it. Where's the Roma Gallery located? It's a poster ad for an exhibition called Growing Pains. At the Roma Gallery. It says down there. Oh! Complimentary student pass. Ooh. Cool. I like anything that's complimentary. <laughs> complimentary. Big dog word. That also means free. I never say no to a complimentary ticket. Neither do I. <laughs> so, let's take a it's look. It's the address. The gallery is located near the Watertown Bridge. Oh. It's all the way over in West Venice, if I remember correctly. I'm going to have to catch the Metro Line subway to get there. Well, then it's good that we got paid. We're going to need uh, money to get on the subway. Why'd it go back? Okay. Anyways. It turns out that Where Kids Visualize Their Dreams is an exhibition called Growing Pains at the Roma Gallery. That's down by the Waterton Bridge in West Venice. Too far to walk. I have to take the subway. It's an exhibition of work uh, by inner city kids. And I guess the theme is dreams, which by some strange twist of fate is what everything is about today. So the Roma Gallery, it is. Can't say I'm looking forward to it. Senor Cortez is just a little too creepy for comfort. But I'm in desperate need of some answers. So it's bye bye to choice. Hello, destiny. Quote unquote. <laughs> uh, now we know about that. Ooh, jukebox. It's a jukebox, according to Stan. It's an original. Uh, Almost 200 years old. I damn. don't know. That looks like a replica to me. A good replica, but still. Yeah, a replica. It took some convincing, but Stan finally agreed to put the jukebox on free play. I'll just oh, nice. choose a track at random. <laughs> He's like, no, more money! <laughs> oh, I like this song. Hey, there's Emma. And... That's my, well, Emma's friend, really, Marcus. He's a VAVA student as well. When she's not working, or out on a date, Emma's always hanging out here. Just like me, really. Just like all of us. Ah, I guess it's kind of a small town. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, breadsticks. No, 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 no. Back to the bread Fresh basket. Bread. I love the food in this place. We have a great kitchen. Okay. Why don't we take a little... <laughs> Just steal along all the food from around here. Steal the candy, steal the bread. And let's talk to Emma a little bit. Before we head out. Settle this one for us, April. When did Roin Dale release Sidetracked? Oh, 04, right after the Morning Star exile, those sons of bitches. With blood on their boots, yeah. <laughs> Told you so, Marcus. You said oh, 03. I was closer than you, oh, 07, and you call yourself a fan. <laughs> I don't. Did you speak with Zach today? Why? He was upset. Called you a stuck-up bitch. What? He what? You gotta be kidding me. I wasn't even that rude to him. He thinks so. So that even if you came crawling to his door, he wouldn't give you the time of day. Said you called him an asshole. Oh, boy. Oh, God. I really don't know when to shut my mouth, do <laughs> he I? He heard it through the door. Who cares? It's Zack. He hates you, so what? No great loss. That's true. Okay. So, what else is going on? What are you doing this afternoon? Uh... Well, we kind of already know where Cortez is.
but uh, actually, that's actually what I we came did. by to see if I could find Cortez. What's with you in this guy? You'd rather spend time with him than us? I have to find out what the message means. <laughs> they kill don't you. look at me. I don't know anything except what I already told you. Ask Charlie. He spoke with Cortez earlier. Yeah, we already did that. Uh, what are you, what doing? you doing? Staying here. What else? I'm meeting a friend later, but that's not until nine. We're waiting for Isabel, and then we're gonna eat. But I guess you're not hungry. No. Figures. I don't know why I even bother asking. Uh, Who's this another friend. friend you're meeting later? Don't tell me it's that guy you were out with last night. Are you gonna tell me I shouldn't get involved with men like him? No, no, of course not. I'm not your... You don't need me to tell you that, Emma. Well, I wish you would, because you're right. I shouldn't. He's a bastard. But he's so cute and charming and, you know, very good in bed. I, I just can't help myself. That. But he's not a keeper. Don't worry about that. It's just this thing. Just a fling. Mind if I ask you some questions, Emma? Like, like I don't tell you everything that's going on anyway? Of course <laughs> you can ask me questions. Like, duh. Uh... What's your... Take on um, Cortez. Take on Cortez. My take on Cortez. What's that? Like a diplomatic way of saying what the F is this guy's glitch? Yeah. Sure. Let's go with that one. You know, I think Cortez is a barrel of laughs. In a good way. Everybody thinks they got him all figured out, you know? Like he's the resident weirdo. But I know that just ain't true. I've talked with Cortez, and the guy is brilliant. He's weird, yeah, and he's up in the clouds, and I think he believes in aliens. Which is cool, <laughs> but girl, he's smart. I mean, I'm not talking professor smart here. I'm talking real life, seen it all, been there, done that, smart. Useful smart. Experienced smart. And, ooh, I gotta tell you, the guy's cultured. Ask him okay. about anything. Art, music, movies, books. He's current on most topics, which scares me, because it seems he's always just, I don't know, hanging around doing nothing. He rarely goes anywhere. And it's hmm. like he's waiting for something. Or someone. Yeah, maybe Jerry Garcia. But I'm king! <laughs> You're bad. No, I don't think he's a doper. I mean, listen to the guy. What he says may sound a little out there, but the way he says it... No, he's not on Amethon, that's for sure. And one more thing. He is cute. What? He's what? Cute. Emma, he's like... 60. Did you ever see his eyes? Those are not the eyes of an old man. And so what if he's 60? He's better looking than most of the guys I date and so much nicer. Okay. Then I think you've been swimming in the shallow end of the gene pool for too long, <laughs> Emma. I mean, come on, a 60-year-old screwball with a ponytail and an exotic accent? Hello? Well, we'll see. Okay. Did you speak with Charlie today? Yeah, for a few minutes. Why? Nothing. Just wondered is all. Uh, April, did he say anything to you at all? About what? About... Um, I'm nothing. giving you a suspicious look. I mean, I don't look. know anything. Which isn't true because I, I don't lie, but he... Ugh, forget <laughs> it. If we were having this Stop. conversation in a movie, I'd be going, like... Shit, girl, get your act together. Open your eyes. But I don't think that's a good idea. Not in real life. Because real life has a nasty habit of hurting people's feelings. And that's a big hint right there. <laughs> Not going to spoil it, but it's a pretty obvious hint right there. Did you finish your sculpture for the exhibit? The one that attacked me? Pretty much. I'm happy with it, and I know that something? if I go back and keep working on it, I'll just kill it. So I think I'll leave it alone. You? You know what? Don't ask. I'm praying it'll finish itself one of these days. <laughs> sure. Could happen. It could so happen. But I wouldn't count on it. No, I wouldn't do that. <sighs> I'll have it ready in time. Yes, you will, or I'll kick your ass so hard that you'll... Okay, I got it, I got it! Thanks for the inspiration. <laughs> Bye, Thanks, the boot Emma. to the butt. <laughs> Thanks for what? For talking to you? Girlfriend, what the hell is the matter with you? Snap out of it. Uh, well, I let's... gotta run. 
We gotta, I gotta go. See you around, stranger. 